The secretary of the society records Eddington's results. The measurements of the plates have led to the conclusion that the deflection of 1 second 0.75 at the sun's limb, predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity, is verified by the eclipse observations. The public interest that gets generated by this is tremendous. Outside of the scientific community, no one had even heard of Albert Einstein, let alone his bizarre theories. Now the public learns that everything they believe about the universe is wrong. The Times of London says, in effect, there is a whole new theory of the world. Ideas we've known for hundreds of years are wrong, and this man, this German scientist, Albert Einstein, has given us a new truth. The New York Times has one of the greatest headlines. Men of science, more or less a god over eclipse observations. Einstein theory triumphs. And it is then that the German press also picks up on, on these events. There's a, a Berlin magazine that shows him you know, sort of this, this romantic face with a, with a already fairly you know, dramatic hair, and this faraway look in his eyes. And then the caption to the cover of this magazine says, you know, a new figure in world history. Although few people really understand Einstein's ideas, soon everyone knows his name. Beers are named after him. Mothers name some of their children after him. Einstein himself never realized that his obscure theory of gravity would excite the public imagination. He says things are crazy here with the press. They all want an article. They want a lecture. They want photographs. It is all a craziness. This is, you know, one of the first great ages of photography. So there are pictures of Einstein. There are undersea cables. People can carry news all over the world. There are newsreels. You know, you can see the man moving and talking. Without such freedom, there would have been no Shakespeare, no Goethe, no Newton, no Faraday, no Pasteur, and no Newton.